Here's a nice shot. This is a nice shot. <laughs> I should take a picture of the three of you who are standing as a triangle, each one with a different angle on the camera. Most people don't live on what most of them do, or the first one, like on the ground floor. It's the only place where papyrus grows here in Syracuse, wow. outside of Egypt. Wow. It's stalked very, very yeah. thinly, press it together, dry yeah. it out, and that's your paper. Starting from the bottom to the top. Oh. Leaving pillars inside. I the think you're saying something different. Yeah. Now, now we'll see. We understand uh, better. So, and just to explain you from here, because you can see the height of the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So no Greek, no English. <laughs> <laughs> Every season we choose the two, three plays and one comedy or tragedies and comedies as well. Fuimos casi un muro, casi viento, casi sal. Fuimos casi nada y todo de una sola vez. Fresh pasta for my family, uh, three, four times uh, in oh, a week. Like yes, one. yeah. When uh, the fish is shape, change color, begin uh, white. Uh, dalla coda. Yeah. With my technology, Sicilian technology, <laughs> it's my finger. <laughs> This is the royal <laughs> No, much later. This is about 1860, I think we put in. It wasn't in good shape up until um, I think it was 1995 when the dome fell in overnight because the marble flooring was ripped up and a stone floor. She's 42 years old. And with a clever face. You can see evidence of some of them. That was obviously one. It's a typical shape of a monastery. Okay. Did they think the mud came at one time and destroyed the villa? The mud came, the big, big part came up on one, one time, on 1161. His name was William the Bad, on the white. <laughs> That means she used that differently as a factory for, the Moors used this place as a factory for the ceramics. And on 1161, the fire caused out what we call the deforestation. Unique. Yes. It is not so common to see the whole race made step by step. Like taking pictures of the horses. As, as a film. As a film. Yes. Like as a film. And uh, any of this ruler had to pay for the game. 
and uh, um, we harvest uh, by machines. Uh, the, the, the machines make about eight kilometers an hour. Choice uh, to use this particular uh, dimension of uh, uh, the small, the small casks. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to everybody. Cheers, Cheers to the Zonin family as always. That was founded in 751 BC. In 734 BC, they founded the Syracuse. 108 years after the foundation of Gela, in 581 BC, a group of Geloans moved farther westwards, came here. The city walls dating from the 6th century BC. The Doric style is the oldest, the most simple one. But they are very massive, too, very strong, because they had to hold up to support the upper parts of the temple, forming the entablature. And then there remains of the temple of Heracles, who was not an actual god, but half man, half god. At the present time, only eight columns remain, reassembled in 1924. was the first outpost to be crushed and they did crush them because the place was somewhere around 20, 22, 25,000 people maybe and according to the written records of the time 16,000 killed on the first day. Placed over another section of stone which has also got that shape in it yes, yes. with a piece of wood on the inside. Uh -huh. with yeah. You can see the big um, cornice right sections mm -hmm. and the big column sections mm -hmm. and the big <coughs> sections. Hey, Martin. Here you go. So, you go to the quarry and you've got the stone this bit ready to go. Round. You can roll it or drag well, it or whatever. Floating, it makes it ah. With floating, it would have damaged. Yeah. Uh, somewhere around 430 BC, which is a, a said to the guys that could hear me on the little golf cart. nice to get it on your own. I don't think I've ever had a group of eight with nobody else in the building. Oh, I see. It's pretty, it's pretty. No, no, that's okay. It's pretty on, it's pretty, it's pretty. No, no, that's okay. It's pretty on, it's fine. We're not allowed to go into the house. These are houses? Oh, houses. that, yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Like a trough. A trough. It's amazing when you think of your own language. Yeah. control the regions. The grapes are the grapes of the province of Trapani. So if you um He's got a lemon drink and stupid table future driver, remember? Yeah. The gin may be in there. Gin. <laughs> no, he's, he's driving the bus, don't yeah. forget. <laughs> Never do that. You're a mate, I'm not with So it's pretty early to put here. Um, especially on the top of the hill. Um, so the town we used to be called Eryx. E R Y X. Then Mussolini in the 20s he yes. was doing his campaign to unify Italy, basically. That's the, that's the, um... Uh, like the pasta dough, or the bacon. Dough, but it's... Asaccia. Taste it. Break it off. Almond, sugar, and sugar. And then it's made into this, or Bad. the almond fruit, or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they But what, this square should have this elegant view. Like when I went out on my walk and got lost, I found a, a small piazza with an actively working Roman-type fountain. up here hunting one day, there was just a forest at the time, and he said he fell asleep. He dreamt the Virgin Mary, who told him that there was a treasure of gold. There it is. She asked him to find it and to build something with the dough on top. 
on the square. Yes. And we are. Okay. It's like a Greek church in the for example. Summer is that lady uh, on the other side. Opposite, we have the lady with the basket putting autumn fruits. It's autumn. And this fountain with the nudity. Just when the fountain was completed, now if he had spent a lot of money on this fountain, he decided to take it with him. He had the fountain dismantled, new fountain dismantled in over 600 pieces, put on a ship and brought here and put back together again. His name was George of Antioch. He was not a Roman Catholic, like the king. He was an Orthodox Christian, a Greek Orthodox, born in Antioch, which was part of Byzantium at the time. And so he grew up in George of Antioch. So that means we were going to the hotel back that way. Good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you. And it's the family that helped restore the town in the 19th century as well. And where is it? Down, down that little street there. Follow the sign. Down there on the left. At the end of the street down the bottom are the, are the medieval wash basins. And then on the right, you're on the sea, and you could possibly see the islands in the distance. School? How? What? I was going to take a girl, but I was 15, I think. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> uh, we went to the same school girl, started in 66. The story was, was that this boy kept on staring at me at, in class, and it was the joke of the entire classroom. And some, one of my friends went up to him and, he, and said, you fancy the cheer, don't you? I, I agreed to go with his friend. And in the end, she couldn't go and, and his friend couldn't go. And so we were sort of forced together. It was kismet. <laughs> down there and peek. It's one of the nicer things we've ever seen. Yeah. 
Yeah, they do. Yeah, have a good time. No, no chaperone. No, it's sorry. Yes. Not very good taxi drivers. <laughs> Salute. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Salute to you.